Hey guys, today we're taking a look at macro extension tubes and how they provide a pretty compelling value proposition for macro photography. Generally, if you want to do macro photography, you have a couple of options. The most obvious choice, which is also the most common, is to buy a macro lens. However, sometimes macro lenses can be pretty expensive. And the problem is that if you're not a religious macro photographer, then it does become a little unreasonable to purchase a lens that you're only going to use probably once or twice. Now you can also use close-up filters, which are simply just magnifying glasses that you can screw onto the front of your lens to be able to focus closer to your subject. These filters can be a little pricey sometimes depending on what thread size you need for your lens and the overall quality of the product. Another method is a bit of an unorthodox technique that involves using what is called a reverse adapter. Basically what this does is it allows you to mount your camera lens onto your camera body in reverse. And yes, you did hear me correctly with the reverse part. So the entrance of your lens now faces your sensor and the back of the lens faces your subject. This allows you to get a shorter minimum focus distance and ultimately a better macro shot. The image, however, is a lot darker because the back of your lens is smaller than the front of it. Overall, the lens will capture less light, resulting in a darker image. Finally, the method that I personally believe brings forward a very compelling value proposal is the use of micro extension tubes. Macro extension tubes are kind of like adapters that you attach in between your camera body and lens. They essentially create a measured gap between the two. What this does is it allows any lens that you use to focus a lot closer to your subject, turning your lens into a macro lens. Now there are a few issues with this technique that I will go through in a minute. However, this technique for me provides the best value proposal because these tubes are very inexpensive and they allow you to play around with existing lenses that you already own to get different looks and minimum focus distances or your lenses essentially become macro lenses. I use a set of two that are made by Neuer and they work like a charm. In the set, one of the tubes provides 10 millimeters of separation, whilst the other provides a 16 millimeter gap. Altogether, you can combine them to get 26 millimeters for super close-ups. And believe me when I say you can get ridiculously close. On some of my lenses, I've had the subject actually touch the front element of the glass before reaching minimum focus distance. The version that I use are also electric, meaning that they can actually communicate with your camera, allowing you to change your lens settings like aperture and fly-by-wire focus. There are some that don't have electric pins and are just extension tubes. They are also a lot cheaper, but for what it's worth, I say just go for the electronic models, they're worth it. The newer set that I got costs just 20 US dollars on Amazon, which is outstanding value. I use mine on Micro Four Thirds, so price may vary depending on what camera system you use. Now I will admit that when you put the tubes on, your setup will kinda look ridiculous, especially here in my case because I got the red version. But hey, at least you get good images out of it. A major advantage of micro extension tubes is that there are no optics involved. If you have a very sharp lens, then you essentially have a very sharp macro lens too with the use of these tubes. Unlike close-up filters, which generally tend to negatively impact image quality because you're putting another sheet of glass at the front of your lens that's probably not been made to as high a standard as the lens itself. What this does is it introduces a higher chance of reflections, refraction, and absorption of light entering your lens. With extension tubes, you get none of that image quality is unaffected. Now, there are a few drawbacks of using extension tubes besides just the ridiculous appearance. For starters, it is pretty much impossible to focus to infinity when you have an extension tube mounted. The lens simply won't do it. And sometimes the communication between the lens and your camera through the tubes can be a bit glitchy, even on the electronic models like what I have here. For example, my camera for some reason always assumes a very narrow depth of field no matter how much I step down the lens. I've had situations when a very small subject didn't look entirely in focus on the live view, but when I take the photo, the subject is in full focus in the resulting image, and sometimes even other parts that I didn't want will be in focus too. The live view on my GX85 simply isn't reliable whenever I'm using these extension tubes unless I'm shooting at the widest aperture. Your mileage may vary for those that use different camera bodies. For what it's worth though, I'm happy that none of these issues actually affect the image quality and I've been able to get some amazing macro shots. For something that costs only $20, this is a definite no-brainer. 
I'll most likely never purchase a macro lens ever again. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video has been useful to you. Please drop a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video and if you didn't enjoy it, make sure to hit that dislike button twice. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this if you haven't already done so. Catch you folks in the next one.